people. Yes, a bit longer than normal intro thingy, but what are you going to do? Anyway, yes, today we're going to be taking a look at a disc that I've really been wanting to play for quite a while. This is Essential PlayStation CD number 12. And yes, I'm just going to say this right now, this is the best disc in the series. I mean, 10 was quite good, but this one I think is going to top it in terms of awesomeness. So, yes. Now... One thing that I forgot to mention about these discs is that some of them were released outside the UK. Like, I think some of them were released in Germany and some were released in, like, Italy. This one, I think, was released in Australia and it was called something else over there. I don't remember what it was. I think it was, like, the biggest PlayStation demo ever or something like that. And, yeah, there's 12 things on this, which is a bit of a step up from the last time, which had 11. But, yeah, a couple of them are videos, as you might be able to tell. But anyway, if we look at what's on this, we have Mel Gear Solid, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, Roll Cage, A Bug's Life, Cool Borders 3, Devil Dice, Wipeout 2097, which was... I know this was on one of the early discs I looked after. I think it was, like, number 3 or something. Pool Shark, Netty Rossi Compilation, I'm going to save that one for the end. Gran Turismo, I don't know why they put this after the... Net you Aussie stuff, but whatever. Mel Gear Solid video. Now, I actually did check this, and it's the same video that was on Demo 1, so I'm going to have to skip this one because I'm not going to be able to show it off anyway. And Ridge Race Type 4 video. Don't know why they didn't include a playable version of it, but whatever. Anyway, let's get the start with Mel Gear Solid. And yes, yeah, don't select. Well, I knew that anyway, because I played this fairly recently, but actually beat it as well. Well, well the demo, obviously, not the full game. I want to see if I could do it against Spotted this time around, because I remember I kind of messed up. Because <laughs> I got spotted a couple of times, but whatever. And, yes, let's do this. New game. Kind of weird, you don't get to select the difficulty, but I, I think it's on normal. I'm not entirely certain, though. It seems to be on normal, because, I mean, you've got the radar, so it obviously can't be hard. Or, ex yeah, or extreme, whatever. So, just going to skip all this. Okay. I mean, if you really want to read it, then, yeah, you can just, like, keep pausing the video, I guess. But then, I'm, I'm sure there's someone's uploaded all the cutscenes up on YouTube anyway, so... Let's do that. And... Yes. Actually, I might try to show off some of the... Some of the stuff that you can get in the demo. Like... Well, I mean, there's... I don't really need to show off the rations. I mean, I think you know what those are like anyway. But... So do that. I don't really need to lean up against the wall, but whatever. So let's see if we can let's see if we can snap this guy's net without messing it up this time. Oh, yeah, and of course I messed up again. Oh, bugger. Yeah, it's a close one right there. Yeah, it's kind of funny how he didn't spot me even though I flipped him over, but whatever. <laughs> These gods aren't exactly the smartest in the world, shall we say. And it's kind of funny, because apparently they're supposed to have, like, heightened senses or something. <laughs> but they, these, I swear to God, they must have, like, cataracts or something, because they just, they can't spot you. It's ridiculous. In fact, I'm going to, ooh. Oof, close one right there. Yeah, because I knew this guy was going to walk down. Wait, shit, both of them are walking. No! What the hell are both of them going down here? This is ridiculous. Great, now I'm cornered. <laughs> That's true. It's funny how close this has been so far. I think they're going... They seem to be going a different way than they usually do. I'm not sure. Like Maybe it's randomized as to where they go, but I don't think it is. Because they always seem to go the same way. Yeah, I think I've kind of messed up the walking patterns by nearly getting spotted. So, yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing like shit right here. <laughs> and, yeah, no doubt he's going to turn... Okay. That's one problem out of the way. Thank you. So this guy's going to walk up here. As long as I stay over his side, I'm, I'm fine, basically. It's only if they... It's only if you walk into the bit on the radar where it's like... Where it's kind of lighted up where they could see you. But I shouldn't really have a problem with that. Because, I mean, once I killed one of them... 
and yeah, the stuff goes really short. Okay. Oh, actually, you know, once I get past this bit, I might try to show off some of the like items. So let me guess, this guy's gonna walk towards me yet. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise! He lied. Yeah, and now we have to walk down because this guy's being an idiot. Okay, though they both seem to be going that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Nikos just stands there like an idiot. Doesn't try to stop the lift or anything like that. But yeah, I got through there without much fuss. But much fuss, I mean, I didn't alert them at all, so. So far, so good. And yeah, just skip all this stuff. Because, you know, if I don't skip this stuff, I'm going to get content ID and I don't want that. Like, if it wasn't for the content ID, I would let all the stuff play. But yeah, I can't really do that. Because I don't want content ID on my video. Because it's nonsense. It really is. It's really stupid. I'm going to try to see if I can get the stun grenades, actually. Even though I'm probably not going to... Even though I'm probably not going to bother using them. Yeah. I forgot to make cutscenes so I have to skip them, this bitch. Ridiculous. But that guy means Mel Gear Sod. I mean, what do you expect? So we skip that. And then we have to skip some more stuff. <laughs> I swear to God, like, even if you, like, skip all this stuff, it still takes, like, a minute. It's pretty insane. But what are you gonna do? So look at this. Like, I haven't even, like, kept time on how long it's taken me to skip all that, but I think it's... It had to have been, like, 45 seconds, about. So I'm gonna try to get... Try to get the stun grenades against Spider, okay? I'm going to wait for this thing to turn back the other way, because... Well, actually, no, I should be fine, really. Surveillance camera. Yeah. So, we're going to go behind it. Now, I think it is possible to run past it, but I'm going to try to crawl past it, because otherwise... I, I noticed that sometimes, when I try to run past it, sometimes I get spotted, so... I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so, didn't spot me. Okay, I don't know why I unequipped my rations, but whatever. But yeah, now I've got stun grenades. I'm probably not going to use them, because if I do use them, I'll probably end up getting spotted, and yeah, it's not really going to be worth it. So you got this guy. He just seems to be standing there. So, let me get the SOCOM while I'm here. Let me get that. Because... I might actually use that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I see this guy. Actually. Oh, wait, no, it's not showing the thing. Okay, it doesn't do it when you're over there. It's... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there's no time limit, so you can just be as slow as you want on this bit, really. In fact, a lot of bits in this game, really. Okay, ration, I don't... Well, I can't really take that anyway, so... Be on. I'm gonna try to play the stealthy. So, let's just go up here. Like he was last. Yeah, okay. But he's walking away. Oh, you bastard! Why is it that this guy's always here for some reason? Okay, and. What the hell am I crouching? Yeah, eat that, you bugger. Ugh. These people have no courtesy. Ooh, I'm just gonna turn around while this person walks up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I messed up. Whatever. I killed them. They deserved it because they were trying to kill me. Yeah. They're reading her. And then they're going to eat. Am I seriously have bullets? It's ridiculous. How did I waste 25 bullets there? Or. No, I, I don't want to answer the stupid phone. Or the. Well, whatever it is. Codec. That's it. Look at this. I got those 25. Oh, wait, no, it, was, it wasn't 25 bullets, it was 12 bullets, wasn't it? But I may as well equip the stun grenade thing because I haven't got any bullets. Which health I got. Okay, I think that's I think that's full health, I can't really tell. Because it's like. Because <laughs> it's mostly black on this bit. Yeah, we'll just skip all this. Back to the actual game. Seeing as I can really only do the game part on this. Okay. 
Actually, you know, it's funny, because I've, I've really been wanting to play this demo anyway. As in, you know, Essential PlayStation Disc 12. I've really been wanting to play this. Because there's some really good games on this, like this one. And, well, some of the other games we'll get to later. And, right now, I just, I feel like going back and playing, like, some of the best demos. Like, the best demos that I've got. And it's just, yeah. Because I'm not really going to have much time to, to do these videos for the next couple of months. Because... I start work next week, and once I, you know, once that starts, I'm not gonna have much time to record videos. I don't think. And I know there's other ways you can go to get into this bit. I just don't care to use them. I mean, this is the quickest way, I think. And you know, this is the way you go to get the SOCOM if you don't get in the truck like I did. But yeah, so we go down here. Now we'll collect some more stuff that we're not really gonna need. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, cardboard box. Didn't really... <laughs> I forgot you can actually get that this early in the game. <laughs> Pretty useful for sneaking around. Even though it looks kind of ridiculous doing it around here, but whatever. That's kind of out of place. Actually, I might as well try to show off this other stuff. So we've got a scope. Ooh. Am I a bit too close? Okay. Okay, now I should be able. Because yeah. I don't want to get spotted by that thing. Or well, it's been spotted once, which is once too many. See, I mean, I've beaten this demo before without getting spotted, but... Of course, I can't do it on video for some reason. Yeah. So, we're going to wait. Okay, we're going to wait for this camera, because I know it's going to turn back. And I want to get the thermal goggles, even though I showed those off last time, but still. They look kind of cool, even though they're hurt-wise after a bit. I mean, I suppose I could just go into the corporal box right here, but I'm not going to. So, wait for that. Nope. No, I don't want to lean up against the wall. Okay. It'd be <laughs> I should try using the corporal box down there, but I'm not going to, because... Prob they will probably spot me, to be honest, in this area. I'm not sure, because I never actually tried it. And I don't want to risk doing it now, in case I end up getting killed. No. Okay, I don't want... Okay, I need those rations, damn it. Just in case. Wait for that to move down. Okay. In fact, now it's time to use the scope, I think. Because I see that guy moving down there. Okay, now is the time to move down, I think. I probably should have got those bullets, actually, while I was down, while I was up there, but... Too late for that now. Okay, where's this guy going? Because I can't activate the lift until he moves out of the way, which is the problem. So he's coming towards me, what a surprise. <laughs> what's the going to turn back now? So he seems to go off in the most random directions half the time. Okay. So now we just go day one. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, pressed the, I pressed the button back, then. Okay. And, yeah, well, now we've got past all the enemies, so I'm just wrap this demo up, I guess. Or, yeah, all the enemies that appear in the demo, obviously. These are not the only enemies in the game, because that would be weird. You know, let's have, let's have a dozen enemies at the beginning of the game, and then not have any for the rest of it. Wouldn't make any sense. But, of course, they didn't do that, because it wouldn't have made any sense. But, yeah, now we're just beat this, and let's go through here. I don't get, like, I get why it keeps, like, <laughs> yeah, you can't use the cobble box in, when you're in a ventilation shaft. Who would have guessed? But yes, we've got the rations. I don't know why I even bother to equip them, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna get, <laughs> it's not like anyone's gonna try to kill me on this bit, but whatever. It's a bit of a shame you can't do the bit afterwards where you, like, where, you know, a bunch of guys come and you gotta shoot them. Yeah. But you don't get to do that because it just ends at this point. And that kind of sucks. But, you know, I mean, it's a, you get to do a decent amount in the demo, so it's not too bad. So we'll just end this bit. Okay. To be continued. Yes, coming... <laughs> yeah, coming, like, nearly 16 years ago, but yeah, we're done. Um, I'm just going to start and select out of it, because otherwise you just keep 
It's just going to keep looping the same demo over and over, and I'm just going to keep playing it forever. And, you know, as we're talking about the demo, you know, we're not going to do that. So we've got Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Now, I played a demo of this recently on the horror game special thing, but I'm pretty sure that, that this is a different demo to the other one. In fact, this one is a lot more straightforward and, well, there's a lot less to do. Which I'm guessing is why they made a second demo, because you can't really do a whole lot in this one. And yeah, this is different to the other one, because there's no intro or anything like that. The other version has an intro, and this one doesn't. So yeah. And this one's actually really short. This one takes like, I think it takes like two or three minutes to beat. So yeah, this one's not going to take long to beat. Uh, okay, so we want to go up here. Yeah, you got to press... Yeah, the jump in this is kind of odd. It's like you have to press L1 and then you have to... Well, or yeah, rather, you have to hold L1 and then you have to press X to, to do like a high jump. So you want to go down here and want to kill this guy. I should forget. Because you kill this guy, but I don't remember... Oh, I think you're supposed to get like the... Um, Scepter or whatever it is. And then you're supposed to like impale them with it. I think I might have accidentally skipped it though. <laughs> yeah. I think I can actually kill this guy and that kind of sucks. I could throw him off the cliff though which is pretty cool. Even though the camera was facing the wrong way so you can't really see it but... I'm sure, I'm sure I should have been able to get the scepter by this point but I think I might have ran past it like an idiot but whatever. Oh wait, here it is. Okay, never mind. So now we got to go up here. I mean, you can look up the controls, so it's not like, oh, how do you do a high jump? You can just look them up before you actually start playing. So I didn't bother because I know the controls work in this game anyway, so I don't really need to. Oh, I don't want to run off. What happens if you fall down there? Did you go? Is it just back to the start of the level? I actually don't know. So now we beat this guy. Actually, I think the controls might be a little bit different in this demo because I remember in the full game you press like you have to press triangle to impale them. I think in the, I think in this demo you have to hold yeah you have to it's like square but I think you have to like hold it for a little bit so that works. And then we take this guy's soul and yeah, watch this, watch this right here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is literally the entire demo. It's pretty... Uh, yeah. It's pretty cool, but at the same time, it's pretty easy to see why they made a second demo of this, because the original one was too short. And that's it. So we're done with that. That was far quicker than the MGS demo. Actually, what was the next one? Was it Bugs Life? Or was it someone else? I don't remember. Oh, Roll Cage. No, yeah, we're going to have to reset this one, which kind of sucks. I don't think you have to reset any of the other games. I mean, obviously, you got to reset the Net Yorazi stuff, because you always have to reset that. But I don't think any of the other games you have to reset them. But this game is pretty cool. I mean, the, the sequel is definitely better. But yeah, Roll Cage. Yeah, I'm going to say this right now. Actually, I should play as this guy, actually, because I think I played this demo before and I played as Jet, so let's play as this guy. But, I'm going to search right now, if you if you have a PS1, then get Roll Cage Stage 2, which is the sequel to this game. Because that game is awesome. Actually, I don't know if I had this game, but I definitely had the sequel back in the day. And that game is awesome, all of it. So, yeah, move them out of the way, and the, the analog controls are turned off for some reason, that's kind of weird. So I did not turn them off myself. Oh, ooh. Okay, let's, let's do this. I get the film this might be a little bit harder with this guy because the grip on his car isn't very good. So I took a quick look at the stats while I selected him and I was like, this might be a little bit this might be a little bit tougher than when I played this demo before. Like I don't know why I use that. It's like it only works if there's like another car that's like right in front of you. You want to slow him down. 
I like this music though, it's really cool. Uh, in fact, what's funny is, um, I think there's another game on here that... I don't know if it has the same music on this, but I remember I played uh, Demo 41, and it had this music. And But yeah, I'll point that out when I get to the game. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Wait, there's three laps. I thought there was only two in this demo, but I guess not. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no. Oh no, for some reason I just... I remember this having two laps when I played it. I don't think I've even got any uh, boosts yet, and that kind of sucks. Like, because the speed up helps are pretty cool. Okay, so that's like a drill thing. I think that's like a homing missile that you use to like destroy scenery or something. Or that. I mean, that works. I think I blew it up anyway. Mister the Villa. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell said that, but whatever. So, so. Okay, stop giving that stupid drill power up. I want, like, I really want to get, like, this, the, uh, the speed up thing, but I'm not going to get that. Okay, let's. Okay, and just keeps giving me that power for some reason, but yeah, okay, I won. And I came first. Well, that generally. <laughs> that's generally what happens when you win, you come first. Because you're simply the best, better than all the rest. There we go. All this advertisement stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't get, like, why well, you have to win death match as a bonus. That just seems like a stupid idea to me. Like, surely you should just have that anyway. But anyway, yeah, we're done with this, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and we're ready to play A Bug's Life. Now, this game, like, I had this one back in the day, and I don't remember if I beat it, but I remember I got pretty far in it. And I remember quite liking this back in the day, but it's been a while since i played it, so <laughs> I did look at the controls before I started this. Because I do own the game, it's just I haven't really gone into playing it very much yet. Like, I played it a little bit. But yeah, Disney Interactive, well, we kind of knew that. Seeing as... You know, it's a bug's life. I mean, of course it's going to be Disney. <laughs> uh, why is there no sound on this? I definitely remember there being sound on the on these, like, logo things, but... Whatever, let's just start this, I guess. Now, I think the demo is just the first level, and... Okay, that's going to be a trailer, so... I'm going to skip that just in case I have to replace it, because I think you do. Okay. Start this. Yeah, okay, it's just level one. I don't know how long this demo is going to take, actually, because I seem to remember if you do everything, it, it might take a little while to actually do on the level. But let's do this. I decided to load anyway. Okay. And I remember, I think there was an N64 version of this, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I had. Wait, what's the button to, uh, yeah, okay. Because I pressed square right there, and I pressed it again, and it did the same thing. Okay, so we go up here, and okay. Then we got this, just showing you where that, what's it called, the golden berry, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, and he, the one thing that, yeah, if there's one problem I have with this game, it's that, like, play just basically just says the same things constantly. I don't really get it. Wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I need to find some more berries to actually do, oh, you bugger. Yeah, eat that. So I need to find some more, like, abilities to do stuff with. And... I could be wrong, but I think, if I remember correctly, I think the enemies respawn in this. It's like Toy Story 2, which isn't really surprising, because it's made by the same people, I think. I know Trails of the Tales made that game too, so. So where the hell is the stuff I need to get the more pelts? I don't remember. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> it's not really much of an island, though, considering that it's surrounded by land, I think. Yes. Oh. Yeah, eat this. How's this? I don't know what this does. So I want to get, I want to get the thing where it's like, you can change what the things do. They use like, yeah, that thing that turned into like a mushroom. I don't remember like. So that's the problem, I need to figure all this stuff out again. I need to go back and play this some more. Oh. Yeah. Like I said, the enemies respawn, which is kind of annoying. I don't get why games do that, it's just, it just seems kind of pointless to me. Alright. Oh, okay, that's kind of pointless, but... It seems like I could just... Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right, there's no double jump in this. I was thinking of Toy Story 2 for a second. I was thinking... Wait, this isn't Toy Story 2, you can't double jump in this. But again, why do games have respawning enemies? It's pointless. I mean, surely if I kill an enemy once, I shouldn't have to kill it again. But that's just my opinion. I always just find it kind of a stupid concept. Oh! Oh. That's right, he just gets in the way. Yeah. Oh, wait, is he dead? I guess so, because I can go through here now. So I'm just gonna hit you a dozen times to get through. Yeah, eat this. You cannot survive my green balls. Ah, oh yeah, this is it. This is what I need. Oh, I don't remember what it does though. Let's... Oh, okay, now I have all of them. What does the blue one do? Because I think the green one gives you like a platform, but I have no idea what the blue one does. Oh, I think it just gives you health. Well, I don't really care about that. So, oh, wait, I don't want to throw it on the... <laughs> okay, that was kind of stupid. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. I, I picked the wrong one. I, I keep thinking it's going to, like, cycle, like, to the right. So we're going to go up here. Super bear! What's the difference between the green one and the blue one? I mean, the green one's like a home in one, so that's like the best one. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe this one's like more powerful, I guess. Okay, gives me. Okay, so I get some health. Yeah, it's gonna be some enemies from that. Yeah, eat that. Oh, and yeah, you can just do that as well, but it's. So, oh, I want to do that. And what happens if I turn both of them green? So I think one of them you got to turn green and one of you got to turn red, I think. I'm sure you can do it. Isn't there, I definitely remember there's a way that you can, like... I can't remember where you do it. So I'm sure there's a way you can, like, have it so that it's, like, bigger. Like, the platform itself is bigger, but I don't remember where you do it. Which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, except I think I've already got it. Actually, I got solid. Let's uh, let's just beat the level and be done with this. Cause you go down here and it just ends. Yeah. Oh yeah, I went to the tunnel. Wait, isn't it even gonna show off the? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I want to at least know how well I did. 
by Robin, how badly I did, really. <laughs> yeah, I got none of those. I got 21 berries to flow. But yeah, we're done with that, I think. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's it. 15 levels. Huh, just like the Toy Story 2 game, I think. Well, did the Toy Story 2 game have 15 levels? I know it had like... I think it was like 14, something like that. Not like it matters, because we're not playing that.